Okay, welcome back. And now we're going to do another example, and this is going to be one dealing with velocity. So let's read the problem. It says a particle moves along a coordinate axis. Its position at time t is given by the function, the position function, s of t is equal to sine 2t plus cosine 3t. That's what I have here. What is the velocity of the particle at time t equal to pi over 6? Okay, so we're looking for the velocity. So that means we're going to want the velocity function, which is the derivative of the position function. So again, v of t equals s prime of t. Okay, now, we're going to take the derivative of this thing. So again, notice this, this is a composite function. This is a composite function. So we're going to have to apply the chain rule here. So it's going to be sine, so the derivative of the outside is cosine, 2t, times the derivative of the inside function, which is 2. So I'm going to put the 2 there, plus the derivative of the outside function, which is negative sine, right? So this is going to be negative sine of 3t, times the derivative of the inside function, which is 3. And so now I want this value of the velocity at t equals to pi over 6. So I'm just going to put pi over 6. Okay, so let me simplify this. So this is going to be 2 cosine of pi over 3 minus 3 sine of pi over 3. Nope, pi over 2. Okay, so now, what is the cosine of pi over 3, which is a 60 degree angle? Okay, that's going to be a half. So this is going to be 2 times 1 half, right? So remember, pi over 3 is a 60 degree angle. A cosine of a 60, 60 degree angle is, you know, um, adjacent over hypotenuse, and so you get 1 over 2. Minus 3 times the sine of 1 half, or excuse me, pi over 2, which is a 90 degree angle. Well, what's the sine of pi over 2? That's just 1. And so I get 1 minus 3, which equals negative 2. So this particle has a velocity of negative 2. And that's it. So there's no other context given. So that's the answer. Have a great day.